Hi, we're Eric and Travis at South Dakota State University, and we were using the TMS 320C6748 DSP development kit to run a basic um, FIR filter. All right, this is our DSP kit. Um, we hooked up the power, the JTAG emulator, which would be the XDS100 version 2, and we also hooked up the UART connection to the computer. So included with our DSP kit was Code Composer Studio version 5.1, which is the IDE that we used for this project. This is what the IDE looks like when you open it up. And for this project, we inputted three sinusoidal waves of varying frequencies and used an FIR filter to filter out the high frequency sinusoidal wave and printed that out to a serial port for later analysis. So by connecting a JTAG programmer to the board, we were able to compile code and program our board. So the first step we needed to do was build the program. And that shows a successful build. And then the next thing we needed to do was connect to the board using our programmer. So we have to launch our configuration file, which is set up for our JTAG programmer and our board. So this is our new configuration file for our board. So to actually connect to the board, you right click and connect your target. And this shows a, su a successful connect to the DSP kit. We can now come up to run, load, load program. Uh, in your workspace, wherever you have created yours, you will have your out file for your specific program. This file is created when you build your project. You then click OK. And the program is now loaded onto the board in debug mode. Here is your C file. And using the run step over and step into commands, you can step through your code line by line. Okay, so these are the, or this is the three tones that we generated in MATLAB and then copied over to the main file in Code Composer to put on the board. Um, as you can see, this is the sinusoidal, three sinusoids that we added together. Um, we're going to filter out the highest frequency one. And then the, this is the, um, the power spectral density. So it shows first two frequencies, and then this is going to be the frequency that we filtered out. This is the filter, the FIR filter that we used to filter our data in this project. Um, we used MATLAB to design it. We um, we told MATLAB where our frequency transitions would be, and then it gave us a filter with 10 FIR coefficients. Okay, so after we copied the data, the input data from MATLAB, as well as the filter coefficients, as you can see here and here, um, we ran our program and so we're at the convolve line where to actually filter the data. If we step over that line and then look in the variables, we can see that there is in fact data in the, in the tone filtered data. If we copy both, or copy this variable into a separate text file, we can then use our MATLAB code 
to play the data inside MATLAB. So using MATLAB to plot the data from the filtered tone of the DSP and also using the built-in MATLAB filter functions, you were able to see that using both the DSP and MATLAB, the high frequency tone was able to be eliminated. Uh, the DSP results would be on the left and the MATLAB results on the right. And then if we look in the frequency domain, both with the DSP on the left and then MATLAB being on the right again, you can see that the high frequency spike that was shown earlier has been eliminated using both techniques. Now that the, that the data has been analyzed using both MATLAB and the DSP kit, the original tone and the two filter tones would be played back so that we could confirm that the high frequency noise has been eliminated from the tones. The original tone with the high frequency sounded like this. Using MATLAB, a filter was designed and the high frequency tone was eliminated and the result sounded like this. The objective of this project was to then use the DSP kit to implement a similar FIR filter that would also eliminate the high frequency tone. The results sounded like this. As you can tell, the high frequency tone was eliminated both using MATLAB and the DSP kit and the objective of this project was successfully met.